Recently, I was a passenger in a very late model car that had access to satellite radio called Sirius. What really impressed me about that was that you could drive connecting with, through Sirius radio with radio stations that will have a consistent frequency no matter how far you drive from one end of the country to the other. And even some of the local radio stations who are subscribed to Sirius, you can drive far away from that radio station and because you're connected to the satellite, you have no crackle, you have no pause in the, in the reception and you have a strong signal all the way. I like that. Not like my old, much older car where I just have to go by the distance that I go from away from the radio station. And you know what it's like. You travel a distance away from your favorite station, listening to music or to some program, and very quickly then you pick up the crackling and the static and the voices fade and, and then you lose the entire signal. Kind of frustrating. Then you gotta look for another radio station and then you're in and out. The interesting thing is that when I do that, the radio station hasn't changed. In fact, it is still broadcasting with the same power. The only difference is that I have moved too far away from the station. Now there is something far more important than radio stations that we could move far away from and no longer have contact, and that is with God. I have to admit, admit that there are some times when God's voice fades and I don't have that same connection with Him. It's like static comes between Him and me. And that is not because God has disappeared. It is not because God has turned away from me. No, it is because I have moved away from God. I am not going in the same direction as God is. I have chosen my own way and then I pick up the static and God's voice grows fainter and it's all because I have moved away. Don't you think that we can somehow maintain a strong connection with God where the signal stays strong where no matter where we go as long as it is in God's direction we will be in contact with Him. How does that happen? Well there's a verse in Psalm 16 verse 8 that says I have set the Lord always before me. I have set the Lord always before me. And because He is at my right hand, I shall not be moved. Or I will not be moved off the right track. And I will not lose contact with God. I have set the Lord always before me. How do you set the Lord always before you? Well, for me it's got to be the time I spend with Him, reading the Bible, listening for His voice, listening carefully to what He says, that creates a connection. And then I try to take that message that I find from His Word with me into the day and frequently remind myself, am I connected? Checking. Am I connected with God? Is the frequency interrupted by some distraction or by me moving away from Him? And that helps me to know that I have set the Lord always before me throughout the day, at work, at school, at home, no matter where we are, even in the mall, even when we're shopping, even when we're playing, we can set the Lord always before us because we take His voice with us that we have received from the Bible, that we have read and studied. The wonderful thing is, is that God never moves away from us. He is always available. He's always in tune with us. As it says in Psalm 34, 15, the word is, the eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous and his ears are open to their cry. God is always in tune, but we tend to move away. How about us deciding that every day we will come in tune with God We'll make sure that we are on the same frequency as God. How wonderful to go through a day knowing that God's voice has no interruption. He guides us because we are into His Word. 
we're in communion with Him. I pray that today you will have an uninterrupted connection with God because you are tuned into Him, into the station, God's Holy Word. I'm Ivan Blake, the Senior Pastor of the Fletcher Seventh-day Adventist Church. If you'd like to know more about our programs, you can go to our website, www.fletchersda.org. Our purpose is to always lift Jesus up and to love people in.